Tivada. In this video, we will learn about ng for and ng if together and what are the different types of errors we can expect and how to resolve them. To understand more about ng for and ng if, I recommend you to watch my previous videos on ng for and ng if in the same playlist. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. If you see here, I have created a project by the name demo1 by using Angular CLI and it has created a component called as app component. Inside the app component, we have HTML and TS files. So let me open that TS and HTML and let me minimize it. So now what I want to do is I want to create a complex array and let me loop that and let us understand what is the problem which we have. So let me create one array called as complex ARR is equal to it's an array and it has a objects ID one comma name is Sai and uh, let me give one more ID as two comma name as Kumar and uh, let me create two more copy this comma paste comma paste ID is three and let me give SKK and ID is four let me give Kortiwada and this is my array so what I want to do is I want to display the ID and the name in my HTML let me go to app.component.html create a div and let me print that values so before that to loop this particular div, we can use ng for equal to let item of complex ARR. So what we are doing, we are trying to loop that complex array and we will be getting each and every object in this particular item for every iteration. Let me create one div and inside the div, what I want to display is item dot ID and hyphen item dot name. I want to display these two values. Let me save this and use ng so hit enter. So it has been compiled successfully. Let me go to the browser and refresh this. So you can see the data and let me zoom this. So here what we are seeing the complex values, the array values that is ID and the name we are seeing. And now what I want to do is I want to make a condition for this loop. So what I want to display is whenever the ID is an even number, then only that particular object need to be displayed. So what I'm doing is let me add one div which will make our condition how to use the condition ng if is equal to item dot id that is divisible by two and equivalent to zero that means the reminder should be zero then we have to display this that means it is an even number the id is even number then i want to display this item and the id and the name let me save this and it has been compiled successfully go back you can see only the id as even number that is kumar and kortiwada so this is fine till here it is very fine and we are able to display the values only for the even ids so let me inspect this and go to the elements let me zoom this elements yeah if you see here i have inspected the two value and it is displaying the inner div that means this particular div it is displaying and above that it has one more div which is like condition this is one div and above that we have one more div called as ng for div so this div is a useless div here also it is a useless div because they are not doing anything just for conditional purposes we are using that particular divs so these are the useless divs and we have some div which is a main div which is showing our content and if you see the above one here it is an id of one so if you see the ID of one that is not satisfied with my condition and the inner divs are not displaying. So this is also a unwanted or useless div. So if you see the third element, it is also a useless div because it is a odd number of ID. And here we have again one div and two div. This is for loop and this is for ng if condition and this is for the main content. So these are the different types of DOMs which are rendering which are very unwanted and not used at all. So what I want to do is I want to remove this unwanted content where the logic should be executed without our DOM elements. For that sake, we can use ng container. So let me give a div and use ng container. And let me use stars just to separate our HTML content. What I want to do is let me copy the same content and I want to loop the same content. Here item dot id is modulus of two whenever it is equal to zero I'm displaying this particular div in this case This is a useless div which we are not using so I can use ng container in place ng container and here also It is a useless div. Let me use ng container and ng container ng hyphen container So let me save this and if you go back to the browser and if you inspect this particular 
IDs, it will be having only the div which is having the original content, but it is not displaying any parent divs. If you see here, it is not displaying this container and this container. So ng container is a virtual element which will not display in your DOM but executes the logic. So that is how ng container will work. By this way, we have avoided our unwanted elements to be rendered in our DOM. And most of the people will think that why to use two ng containers? Why can't we use the same structural directive on the single ng container? Let me create a copy of this and let me try to use on a single ng container. Single ng container. So let me remove this ng if and paste here. And also let me remove this container and remove this container. So here there would be a problem. What is the error you can expect and how to resolve that? Let me save this. If you see, the compilation has been failed. Why? Because property item does not exist on the type app component. What it is telling is this item, it is not taking as a local scope. It is searching in our component.ts. If you see the component.ts, we don't have any variable with the name item. So that is the reason it is giving a problem. So how to understand more clearly? Let me go to the ts file and let me create one constructor here. So constructor and inside the constructor, we will write a general for loop for let i equal to 0, i less than some length as 5, i plus plus. So this i value can be used inside the for loop, but not outside the for loop console.log of i. That means this value will not be defined. If you see here, the can't find the name i. That means it is not able to find this particular i value because the i value, whatever here we are declaring, it is trying to search in the global scope. But in the global scope, the i value does not exist. And in the local scope also, it does not exist. It was existed only inside this for loop. So what is the scope of this i value? This will be inside this for loop. In the same way, let's compare with our HTML content. Here we have ng for and the scope of that ng for will be only inside this ng container. That means here the instantiation has been happened, but my item is not at ready. So for that sake, we will be using a nested ng container for handling ng if. Let me reword this and use like this. It works as expected. So it, this will be equivalent to this one. So let me save this. And if you see here, it has been compiled successfully without any problem. By this, what we understood is Whenever we are using ng for and ng if on a same container, it is not possible. It will always search for the global scope. Instead, if you want to search for the local scope of that particular element which we are given, we have to use ng container inside the another ng container. This means you cannot use two structural directives on the same element because both are functional things and that can be executed only after entering into that particular element. That means this item have the scope only after entering into this particular elements. And go back to the TS. Let me remove this constructor. Save this and let me remove this one also because there is no use because both looks the same way. And now what I want to do is I want to make this array a bit complex. So let me give some phone numbers. And for the phone numbers, let me give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are these are phone numbers. And let me give the same phone numbers here. Let me give the same phone numbers here. Let me give the same phone numbers here. But what I will do is I'll change a bit. So 8, 9, 7, 6, 5 here. 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4 here. I want to give 1, 2, 3, and I want to give 1, 2. So these are some array of phone numbers. That means each and every object is having one more array and I want to display these phone numbers inside my array. So what we can do is that is nothing but a nested array. Let me give a div and let me give the stars and inside the stars ng container with nested values. So I want to give a nested values and give me star star. So what I want to do is let me copy the same container. But this time I don't want to display only the name and ID, but also I want to display some phone numbers. So what I will do is I'll create a div and inside the div I can use ng for is equal to what I can use let phone of item dot phone numbers. That means this particular property. Let me copy this property. It is an array and I can loop these values. So here inside this what I want to display is I want to display the phone that is considered as a span and inside this span or let me give the div and inside the div I can write this particular phone. Let me save this 
and now if you go to the output you can see these values these are coming from this particular phone numbers and why it is displaying only these two values because we are having a condition before executing this for loop here also we have a problem that this div is a useless div so i can convert into an ng container ng hyphen container and this ng container should have a closing tag ng container so let me save this and if you see the output you can get the expected output and we are avoiding our unwanted elements to be rendered in our dom so that is how your ng container will be used so hope you guys understood this explanation and if you have any questions please comment in the comment box hope you like my video and the explanation please try to like share subscribe to my channel for more updates and signing off thank you